Welcome to another Bite Size PD. I'm Katie, your K-12 instructional coach with BNLT. Today, we're gonna to look at my favorite tool, Canva. Canva.com is a fantastic tool for media creation. You can create really professionally looking graphics and videos. Your students can create a flyer for a club. You can create classroom rules posters. Why not create your classroom newsletter to send home to parents? Students can use it to create mind maps. You could create Google Classroom headers, brochures, comics, and even videos. We have recently signed an agreement with Canva that you can use your Google account to sign in. When you get to the Canva webpage, you just need to click login. Don't click sign up, we've already signed up for you. You just need to click login and you can select your Google account. Keep in mind that students under the age of 13 do need to have explicit parental consent to use Canva. So we've included a link to this document below this video, which you can send directly to parents. With our education accounts through Canva, we have access to all of the premium features. Canva offers thousands of free templates. You can search through the templates at the top, or from the home screen, you can type in what you're looking for. Once you get to the templates page, you can then scroll through and find one that you'd like to start with. I'm gonna select this one right here. Notice how my new project has opened up in a new tab, but I still have access to everything on the homepage by clicking back to the previous tab. Now that I'm in this new tab, I can customize everything on this template that I've chosen. So if we zoom in, we can take a better look. You can change the wording in all the text boxes. You can even change the images, move them around, resize them, or completely delete them. You can also change the color. Everything that you need to customize your template will be along the left-hand side. You'll first be prompted into the template section. So if it's not a template that you like, you can quickly change it from here. You also have this elements tab. So this is where you can add in any of those little graphics that you see on the page. You can search for something that you're looking for. And by clicking and dragging, you can drop it right inside of the template. You may notice I have quite a few tabs along my left-hand side where I can customize. You may not have as many if you're first logging in, but if you scroll all the way to the bottom and you click more, you'll have the option of adding some more what they call apps into your toolbar so that you have more things to choose from. Students won't see most of these as we've turned them off, but uh, for teachers, you'll see quite a few of these. Anything that's in black and white, like this charts one, is created by Canva and is safe to add for students. And then anything else that has been vetted is safe to add for teachers. So for example, Bitmoji has been vetted for teachers only. So you can go ahead and add that. Pixabay is a great one for teachers to add. Once you're done customizing this template the way that you like, there are multiple ways that you can export your project from Canva. So very simply, you can download the project. It will suggest to download either as an image or a PNG. I would suggest PNG and you can click download. If you're on a Chromebook, there we go. I'm on a laptop, so it downloads directly to my laptop, but if you're on a Chromebook, it will download to your drive. And this would be the same process for students. Another way that you can export projects as either a teacher or a student is that you can show them to your Google Classroom. So if I select Google Classroom and continue, as a teacher, I can select my classroom and I can create an assignment. Or as a student, I can select the classroom I'm a part of and then select an assignment that was already created by my teacher. If you're looking to print projects in Canva, keep in mind that the size does make a difference. So this would be a very long piece of paper. You can check the size of your project by clicking on resize. And if that is not a good height for printing or a good width or height for printing, then you can go ahead and change that. And you can either just resize this project or you can copy and resize to a new project so that you have your original as well. Another awesome feature of Canva is that it can be used in multiple languages. If you click on the cog wheel, you can scroll down to language. And now when you go back to your home screen, you can search for templates in that language.
your templates will come up in your chosen language and you can edit your templates as you see fit. And when you go back to your home screen and change your language settings back, your template will remain in French. So there's my French template and it's still in French. This was just a very quick snapshot of what Canva can do. If you want more help, please email me directly. I've added a slide deck below this video with more information on what Canva can do. Don't forget to subscribe to our training and support YouTube channel. On this channel, you'll find all of Jordan's weekly upgrades and more Bite Size PD. Take care.